In today's video, I wanted to highlight a bunch of useful Blender add-ons that are not very popular, but they are very useful. And I myself didn't talk about them at all, or not as much. From add-ons for rigging and animating cars, to texturing, creating fluids, vegetation, and so on. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know guys that the Blender market is having right now a huge summer sale with 25% discount on thousands of Blender products from add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Also, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the best add-ons and courses that can take your projects to the next level. So without further ado, let's jump right in. If you remember this car chase that was made in Blender a few months ago and you want to create something like this, then you are in luck because it was made using this add-on called Launch Control. First of all, this add-on can automatically detect different parts of your car for easy rigging. And it can, for instance, detect the wheels, body, brakes, and wheel covers of four-wheeled vehicles and set up everything else. And the good thing is that there are pop-ups that will guide you throughout the tagging process if you will need that. And if you want something ready and animated on the fly, the add-on actually comes with a bunch of presets. For example, you have jumps, drifts, donuts, off-road, and so on. And I think this will help you a lot because you can combine these to create amazing animations in a short period of time. But the good thing is that you're not restricted exactly to what the presets offer, since you can draw or add custom points using a Bezier curve in addition to NURBS to change the animation. Now after rigging your car and choosing some preset animations, most likely than not, it will not be perfect. That's why you can take advantage of physics presets that the add-on comes with. Another interesting Blender add-on that might have flown under your radar is called Simply Material. And this one focuses solely on texturing clothing in addition to different fabrics. And by the way, this add-on is from the same developer of Simply Cloth, so you know the quality is good. Generally speaking, with it you can quickly and simply generate high quality materials for a variety of different use cases, such as fashion design, 3D character design, and even some architectural visualization projects. The add-on functions somewhat differently, because it works by firstly letting you select the base texture, which serves as a primary texture pattern for the material. Next, you can add a micro texture, which offers finer detail at closer range. Finally, it allows you to apply overlay textures, like folds, wrinkles, or noise, to give the material a more realistic appearance. And it also allows you to apply additional image textures, like logos or graphics. And once your clothes are styled, you can further customize the texture using a variety of settings and controls. And you can change the emission, sheen, alpha, subsurface, and many other values. And you can add dirt, frizzles, tearing, glitter, wearing, and more. So, the sky is gonna be your limit when making clothes using this add-on. From realistic to stylized, the next add-on is a library of stylized shaders. The add-on we're gonna take a look at right now, called Stylized Shader, can do the job and create amazing things. And with the third update, the add-on now offers even a wider range of shaders, from anime look to black and white and everything else in between, with more than 55 plus MPR shaders that include sketch, painted, nature, tune, and even some effects like glitter or scanner, which is this hologram thingy. The add-on comes with a very simple interface and an ungodly amount of control over every aspect of the shaders. You can easily add an outline to any model with the Add Outline option and the outline itself can be adjusted. And of course, different shaders will look different under different lighting conditions. That's why the add-on offers also a world tab where you can set your lighting. And now let's move to an add-on called Fluid Lab. For making fluid simulations by the same developer of RBD Lab. The add-on was designed to make simulations of fluids, but is it good really? Well, from what I can see, it can make viscous substances like slime and everything else. And the best part is that it runs in real time and it doesn't require you to go through the whole process of setting up a domain and baking. And what's even better, this add-on enables interaction between different emitters with varying densities, viscosities, and behaviors, which opens a lot of possibilities. But just keep in mind that this add-on excels with small to medium scale fluids and provides presets for customizable shaders and seamless Alembic export options. And the cherry on top that the add-on works well with RBD Lab. 
Another interesting add-on that probably went under your radar is called any tree. And its philosophy is, if you can draw it, it can be turned into a tree. Like shapes, arcs, cylinders, or any geometry that you can model or draw can be converted to a tree. You can model your tree boundaries, or you can draw curves that will guide where to generate the trunk and where to generate the branches. But this is not everything the add-on can offer. Many parameters or customizations are provided like branch thickness, branch randomness, and gravity, which will affect the sagginess of the branch. And there is also distortion, growth ratio, and more to help you create a tree that you want. The Allen also has the option to generate correct UVs with no distortion and comes with 40 plus high quality leaves and twigs. And now talking about leaves, the Allen is able to separate tree meshes and leaves for further rigging or simulation. Think of leaves falling or branches moving with the wind. In such a situation, this is gonna be useful. I've always found rigging clothes and accessories for natural and physics-based results can often seem like a hassle in animation. That's why I'm thrilled to take a look at Swingy Bone Physics add-on. The add-on seems to be easy to use, especially for realistic movements, and the main goal is to help you improve your animations for better and natural motions, whether you are working with hair, accessories, wires, and so on. So basically, it creates simulated bone chains to incorporate dynamic physics into your projects. And it offers several adjustable parameters, most of them joined with a curve editor for better tuning, along with visual helpers in the viewport, so you don't get lost while editing. And the add-on also features bone tight collision values and angle limited constraints, along with wind simulation for more realism. And now, if you want to optimize your scenes, then this add-on called Scene Optimization can be good for you. The add-on offers key tools to help you better manage and optimize your scenes. And one important feature is camera-based object hiding, which automatically hides objects not visible in the camera viewport, boosting both viewport and rendering performance. And this is especially helpful for animations, and you can easily undo the effect without affecting keyframes. You will also appreciate selective mesh detection using backface calling, which lets you remove parts of the mesh visible in the camera viewport. And it is particularly useful for high poly models, and the good thing is that it is fully reversible. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.